So here's where I'm at what seems to be the never-ending story of the mini wash plant. I now I have the uh, sluice together. It's you know everything's just in the uh, the tryout stage, but this is the way the sluice is going to run. Now it's going to run back towards the feed end. The feed end being up here where we where we dump, and the sluice instead of coming out this side this way. It's now going to come this way. And I'm about uh, 40 some inch uh, on the sluice, good long sluice. And I, I'm going to do some silicon mats in it eventually. I may do something a little different ahead of time. Just try it when I get the new pump. I do have a 3,500 gallon per hour pump coming also. But if you can see up in here, let's see if I can get this in here. Uh, where I come out of the chute is just a little different now. Um, it's, I think it might be too hard for you to see that, but what I've done here on this chute, I've tied the, the sluice into it here, and these bolts are backwards right now, just this for a test, but there's a uh, kind of an angled plate on the inside that shoots all the material when it comes down through here. Uh, it hits that plate and turns it at the bottom here. So it'll be almost like a slick plate on this upper end I believe. But anyhow, uh, that's where it is for now and I'll just keep you posted as this story goes on and on and on and on. Okay, you gotta ignore the background but uh, here's the mini wash plant with problem one solved. Here's the sluice now mounted underneath as you can see here it mounts up underneath. It has adjustable legs on this side. Right here. Obviously on both sides. Uh, it pivots right here. And so that problem is solved. Okay, and I believe I have now solved the upper problem. I haven't tested this yet. But this just arrived today. It's my uh, new bilge pump. Um, here we go. And let's see if you can read this. It's 12 volt, 3,500 gallons per hour, which figures out to be about 58 gallons a minute. So I believe that this might be the answer to the water flow problem. And it will be helped by the sluice not going at an angle, now going straight back underneath the mini wash plant. So I have no mats in this yet. I'm going to build some mats uh, with the molds that uh, Ellen Robertson uh, sent me uh, to make them out of silicon. But in the meantime, I might throw in a set of mats just to test. Uh, here's a little tip. I got this uh, doormat at Home Depot. And it says 17 and a half by 29 and a half, but it had a border around it, so I, I cut that border off and became 16 by 28. But if you look here, this is actually miner's moss. Now it's black miner's moss, which I really don't care about. And it's backed. You know, you can see the backing here. So it cuts apart, and it, it doesn't come apart when you cut it. I actually just spliced this in. I was a little short. I'm going to do a test of the pump, and I needed some matting in the in the high banker. I'm sorry, <laughs> the wash plant. So this is what I'm going to use. And it was just a little short after I uh, cut the piece out I needed. So anyhow, I just wanted to give you that tip, and I'll put it in the, the high banker here in a second. Okay, here's the miner's moss in the mini wash plant and if you look up here up on that upper end I'll get it a little closer for you 
that little piece of aluminum strap across the upper end I'm hoping is going to hold that in place I mean, it, the aluminum isn't uh, pop riveted in yet and it will be but and the matting will slide up underneath that and uh, hopefully that holds it there and there's some screw heads that hold down on this end so there you go that's what it looks like in there and I think it's gonna work okay, I'm back in the shop now and uh, I've got the uh, the mat that I got from Home Depot in and if you can see in here yeah you can see that this plate right here it's now riveted in everything sealed on the on the slough so it doesn't leak you know anywhere there was a joint because it's uh, leftover material and uh, so there that is and this mat was really good it was only like seven dollars and ninety five cents at Home Depot for a, a doormat I, I thought that was pretty good so I'm all set up almost to uh, recirculate using the 3500 I've got one of my tubs here and I've got the, the uh, classifying screen that gets my uh, tailings as it comes off and takes the fines as you can see right here down on the underneath this mat uh, punch plate, this eighth inch punch plate, there's the holes that go into the bucket that goes under there and that's why everything is set up on uh, four to six inch blocks here because I've got to have the clearance for the pump to be in this tub so I'll deal with that later but I mean this is all doable in the field now so but in order to test I've got to have it kind of set up this way. I don't, I don't need my, my screen here, but uh, I need the tubs. And guess what? This morning it was 28 degrees. So I'm probably not going to do this outside yet. Uh, just for using this mat for a test, I might work on my silicon mats that uh, I'm building with uh, Ellen Robertson's molds. So uh, there's where we are for now. Uh, I know this is a long drawn out thing. It's been many videos and but it's been a a real chore some of this, but it's it's coming and it's gonna be there and it's gonna work. So there we are for now. Alright guys, I got this set up uh, to test it as a recirculator. You can see the two tubs that are tied together here with the the uh, three inch in between. And there's my thirty five hundred right there. Right there, yep, there it is. And we've got it. We're going to go to this RV battery. I pulled this out of my trailer. Um, and the way we're going to hook this up is I've got I've got ring tongues on the end of the of the wire, and there's bolts on the top here of the battery. So I already got the ground tied in, and I'll tie the hot. Okay, I've got two little problems here. I thought I had some inch and a half um, suction hose, and I do not. So what I've got is inch and a half lay flat here, and trying to force it around the end of this tub to go up into the sluice. And uh, it takes a little while, but, but I can get it there. The other problem I have is, uh, in my hurry to get things done here, I didn't put my rubber flap in there that, and I didn't seal these corners here across the bottom so I've got a bucket underneath this to catch the water so I don't lose it all so um, that's not a problem and this won't be a problem as long as I as soon as I get some uh, this hose here won't be the problem uh, when I get some inch and a half uh, suction hose I'll put on there so it won't kink because I'm having a terrible time with this kinking okay I'm gonna you won't see me in the picture but it's just, just to show how the how everything works here and if I can get everything up, hooked up Great flow. Great flow. That's the way it should be working. Just like that.
That's really choked down right there. That's way choked down, but it's 10 times better than it was. As you can see, my hose is kinked here and kinked there and kinked over by the pump. And there's the mats, the miner's moss mats running. And then if I could get the kinks out of this thing, it would run much better. There's a little bit better. That's still not full. Cool. That's good. And so is that. It looks good. So that's the answer is the battery. And I've got to put a couple holes in up here. Just stay on that upper deck. And then we'll be good. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe. And hopefully this will be the last one that uh, we're still building it and we'll be in the field tomorrow. Thanks for watching.